It is my joy to be sitting here with a friend of the Taylors family and a friend of so many, Mr. Cliff Barrows. And as you know, Mr. Barrows was uh, an interim pastor in the early 1970s and he and his wife, Billy, ministered greatly to you, to us, to our family. I think you'll understand just what a blessing he has been to the people at Taylors, but also uh, to the kingdom of God with his work with uh, the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association for so many years. Well, I tell you what, Paul, it, it's been the other way around because no church was closer to our work than Taylor's church back 45 years ago. So Taylor's became a in-home plant family and I could share with them when I came back after the crusade what happened mm. and they were so interested and that that bound our hearts together you know anxious hearts are very heavy but a word of encouragement does wonders so you bridged uh the gap so to speak between dr young I, and, and dr carr as well but i did but i find it interesting that uh in what god was doing through you through the billy graham evangelistic association you were able to bless the people of Taylor's through sharing how God was using you. But on the other hand, the people of Taylor's seemed to have been a blessing to you as well. They were. In the work. So it was the kingdom, a kingdom right. partnership, if you will, to share the gospel around well, the world. Well, you know, Paul have operated on that principle. He said, we have partners together with Christ. We beseech you in his name, receive not the grace of God in vain. Paul appreciated partnership. You know, his favorite church was Philippi. And he said, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. And I can just picture people sitting in the choir at Taylor's. And I'd come in and they'd smile at me and I'd smile back at them. Uh, you mentioned preaching at Taylor's. But you have also mentioned me even before we uh, sat down together, your first sermon. I remember there. the first sermon. I'd love to hear about that. Well, it came from Joshua and uh, where G Moses, God was talking to Joshua and said, Moses, my servant is dead. But as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. You know, that spoke to me because I said to them that day, I remembered well. I was frightened, of course. I'm just, I was just a young, young fella. I was older than the ones I was replacing or interning for. But um, I remember I said, as God has been with Ed, and he goes on now to Columbia, as I was with Ed, so I will be with you folks at Taylor's. If you meditate on the book of the law, you won't let it depart out of your mouth. Let it be part of your conversation. Let it be part of your very life. You know, my precious wife, Billy then, we'd been married almost 50 years, and she had cancer. They came and ministered to her prayed for her, and God in that process used the fellowship of the, of the Taylor family to encourage us, to provide for us. Boy, what they didn't do, they were a caring family. That's one of the great characteristics of the Taylor Taylor Church, as I know. And it, and and it is to this day. Well, that's wonderful, Paul. Mr. Barrows, what would you tell a congregation like ours that is blessed by multi-generations? Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks to God, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. I would encourage them to let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another 
in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Be a praising church, a praying church, a faithful church, and support dear Paul by your loving prayers. Paul, thank you for letting me visit with our friends at Taylor's. I've loved it.